What's up, everybody? It's that BS guy coming back at you. And you know what? It's been a little bit, but I have some things to say and things to be proud of and things to kind of give thanks for. So this is my year in review. I had my surgery on April 6, 2019, which was roughly a year ago. Today is the 23rd of April and of 2020. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's it's been a journey. It has been a, a roller coaster. Um, some days really good, some days a little bit of heartache. But all in all, it's been a solid experience from beginning to end uh, and consistent. And it was all set up by having the right expectations from day one. So um, I'm here not just to talk about my normal journey updates, but to talk to you about my experience as a whole. Um, from you know planning, having my surgery, to the actual getting there, to, um, to, to meeting some of the staff, to actually being here, okay? To being here at this moment. And, and you're probably wondering, well, what does being here at this moment mean to me? Like what is, what, is, what has happened? Um, that has kind of made this year miraculous. Well, first of all, let me put let me put it this way. I started my journey um, at my highest point. So this was, you know, pre pre diet. Okay, this was that moment of clarity where you say to yourself, "Oh, um, I'm I'm fairly large. Like I need I need to do something about that." And so for me, I was 378 pounds. Okay, I was roughly 51. Um, 51 on the BMI scale and very unhappy. I was a very, I've always been a very social person, but I was unhappy um, with what I was doing with myself and, and where my life was going. Um, I had a decent job and everything and, and that, that I'm not complaining about, but you know, love life, almost non-existent. Um, <laughs> almost non-existent, pretty much non-existent. Um, my energy level was extremely low. My capacity to go and do things, very low as well. Like for example, I, I've used this in a past video before, but I will say like, if you wanna go you know, camping and you have sleep apnea, well, are you really gonna risk everything to go camping? Not to mention that you're probably gonna be scaring some people if they think that you stopped breathing in the middle of the night or, or whatever it may be. So my suggestion um, to myself at that point was we need to do something, okay? I need, I need to do something for myself. I need to figure out what it was. So naturally, you know, I, I had insurance through work and what have you, and I decided to try and go that route. Well, come to find out that my insurance at work did not cover bariatric surgery. Um, <laughs> I was very, very disappointed. And so I was kind of at a loss. I didn't really understand why something that could tr tremendously impact my life in a positive way was not covered and that could help not have, you know, issues, you know, moving forward was not covered. It was not covered by my healthcare provider. So I looked into other options and, you know, obviously when you do internet searches on, you know, weight loss surgery, uh, you know, out of country and things like that, there's gonna be some horror stories that pop up. And, and here, here's the thing, if you, if you, you know, look at uh, places, in, even in the United States, you're gonna find, you know, botched surgeries everywhere, all right? It's not something that is, uh, how should I put this? It's not uncommon, but it's not terribly common regardless of who you are. So I stumbled upon this company called Mexico Bariatric Center. And um, I, I looked at the reviews, the website was nice, you know, and uh, I liked what the doctors had to say. And more importantly, I was specifically looking for the duodenal switch surgery or duodenal switch surgery, um, which I did some studies on and uh, was found that, you know, it was probably the most effective and coincidentally the most invasive surgery. So not a lot of places wanted to do it. Um, on top of that, uh, usually places that do it will have you do it in two phases. The first phase being the sleeve, the second phase after you lose some weight, then you come back in and you do the second second part of it, which is the switch uh, part of it. Um, I'm not gonna get into what the surgery entails because that's not what this video is, but I will say that not a lot of places did it. And I found that this was one of the only places that did uh, consistently and uh, successfully, mind you. So I, I, I looked at uh, the reviews, I looked at what was happening, and I, I was really pleased with the, 
the progress of, that people had made there. All right, so um, I, I decided to give them a call. Actually, I went online first, and the next day, um, someone gave me a call, and we started the process. And they said, "Look, you know, you just have to put a deposit down. Um, you know, that way we can lock in a date for you and start to get this ball rolling." And I was like, "Well, how long is this going to take?" She, and the girl on the phone was like, "Well, we could actually do you in like three weeks." I'm like, "Whoa, you know, like that's a little quick. You know, I need to." line myself up. I haven't even started my pre, pre diet or anything yet. And she's like, Oh, I get that. So I set it for like five weeks out, um, which mind you, you know, uh, if I had gone via my insurance, I would have waited, probably would have waited at least minimally. I've heard now three months, typically six months for a lot of people and have to pay copays and, you know, transportation costs, things like that. So there's a, it's not exactly free. Um, when you do it in the United States through your surgery, it's through your, through your, uh, through your insurance, but it is cheaper in a lot of cases too. So, um, suffice it to say, when I went down there, I really didn't know what to expect. I went by myself, which everybody was calling me crazy and they weren't calling me crazy for having the surgery. They were calling me crazy because I was going to Tijuana, Mexico to have a surgery done. <laughs> and so, uh, I was like, okay, yeah, uh, you know what? Win some, you lose some, I, you know, I'm probably going to die early anyways, if I don't do something. So I'm gonna do something. And uh, luckily I had the funds to be able to do it. Um, I did, you know, just slap it on my credit card. I paid the extra 5% or whatever it was to, so I could just defer payments or make, make certain payments over time. And which is fine, which is completely fine for me. I, I mean, like I put it on my airline smiles card. So I basically got the flight for free because of that surgery. So uh, I, that's beside the point. Anyways, um, so, you know, they, 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 they send you out some information. I got on this pre-diet and you know, it. The pre-diet when you are, have been eating a certain way most of your life is awful. You know, it's just straight up awful. And I ended up losing like maybe like 10 pounds just because I wasn't eating as much because I was trying to shrink my stomach and get my liver um, to get smaller and everything before I went down there. Um, and so I went down there. Nice guy picked me up. There was some people there already doing the same thing. One person was going for cosmetic surgery. The other people were doing um, weight loss surgery. So they drive us down there. Take us through the border, all that. Anyways, um, I'm not gonna give the whole experience there, but what I will say this is that I was treated very respectfully and very nice the entire time I was there. Everything was done professionally. I was monitored fairly well. Uh, and when I came back, uh, all I can tell you is it was it, it was a struggle. You know, like those first two or three months, you know, of eating really soft, you know, like liquids, first of all, for a little bit, and then soft solids, uh, and then like semi soft solids, and then trying to transition into there. There was definitely some moments where like, I remember trying to eat some scrambled eggs once, and it, like I took like three bites too fast, and it was just painful. So uh, flash forward till now. Um, I've lost right around 160 pounds. Um, I'm right around 218, 217, 219. I'm fluctuating in there. I'd like to lose that last 12 pounds to kind of get down into there. I've always been a, you know, a large guy, um, you know, shoulder wise, stature wise, things like that. But I will tell you that, uh, it's the, the way you get treated. Um, and I'm not even talking about like by members of the opposite sex or whatever you're interested in. <laughs> um, but I'm talking about just in people in general, okay? Um, the way you get treated is different. Uh, people, people do kind of put more stock into your physical presentation than than what you really give credence to, or or you think should be done. Um, now, that doesn't mean people don't like you if you're big or anything like that. I was perfectly fine. I, I had a lot of friends when I was big too. Uh, but I will say that it's very apparent that some of your friends definitely notice when you were that big because for me, you know, my friends were always nice to me, but they're like, man, you were big, man. I, I look, I look at your pictures and I really didn't realize how big you were, you know, because you held it so well. I'm just like, thanks, <laughs> you know, uh, but I, I will just say that it, it's been a remarkable experience to, you know, have this weight, you know, drop off. And then let, 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 let me be very clear. It is not an I win button. I've said that in past videos of mine, but when you go into this, whether you're doing um, the duodenal switch, the uh, sleeve, or the ruin Y gastrectomy, um, or even a band, um, when you go into it, you have to have the right mental set. And you have to think like, this is a change. This surgery is now allowing me to change myself and I'm changing myself for the better. There are things that you're going to have to give up. There are habits, food habits that you're going to need to change. And 
if you try and work around those things, it's probably not going to work for you in the long run. Okay. So what do I mean by that? Well, carbonation, carbonated drinks, usually very sugary drinks, um, beer, things of that nature, uh, probably are going to be not part of your diet, um, at a certain point. Um, mainly because they don't feel good in your stomach anymore, but they make you feel really bloated, but they also have a really high caloric intake and uh, they have a lot, a lot of carbs in them. Um, you know, speaking of carbs, you know, pastas, things of that nature, uh, white bread, all of that pizza, pizza crust, you know, I've had to move to cauliflower pizza crust. Um, it's not necessarily less in calories, but it doesn't make me feel horrible like a, you know, like a, a flour based pizza crust does. So there are certain things that you have to learn to adjust. Now, what's right for me may not be what's right for a next person or for you, for example. You know, there's also other limitations. Like if you're going in for a sleeve or if you uh, are getting the gastric bypass, there's there's certain things you also have to take in consideration. If you're doing a, a um, uh, anything that's not a restrictive surgery, so the Ruin Y or the duodenal switch, you're going to have to take a vitamin supplement most likely. Okay, I'm going to say, at least for mine, you definitely do. Um, and so that's an added cost, a monthly added cost for vitamins that you may have not expected. All right, so these are all things to take in consideration. But what I will say at the end of the tunnel, at the end of the day, you got to find, you got to look at yourself and say, what what is worth my health? What is worth the time to do this? Okay. And I, I think back, I look at pictures that show up on my, on my Facebook feed and things like that from over a year ago. And I'm just like, holy crap. How did that happen? How did I get to a point of where I cannot, I, I, I was, I was so large, you know, I literally have lost, you know, um, uh, you know, a woman and her dog's worth of weight. <laughs> that is nuts to me. That is nuts to me. This, uh, I went from a size triple X, almost pushing four X. This is a large and it is loose. It's very loose. I don't know, you can't really see that, but you get the idea. It's very loose on me. It's not, it's not snug at all. It is, it is just a loose, nice hanging shirt, whatever. Looks good on me, I think. <laughs> You let me know in the comments, I guess. Um, but what I will say is, is that I, I've never, I've never really thought about it. My, my shorts that I'm wearing, size 32, 33, 32, somewhere in that, that mix. And they're, and they're loose. I can actually, you know, pull them out a little bit. I mean, like it's not, it's not, it's, it's, it boggles my mind to go from a size 46 pants to a size almost 32, right around a 32. Like how? How do we let ourselves go there? So what I'm telling you right now is that if there's anything that I have learned over this past year, there's going to be struggles. There's going to be bathroom issues. There's going to be some moments where you get so excited to eat something. You're so excited to drink something that it might make you feel nauseous or hurt. You know, be mindful of how your body's feeling. But what I'll tell you, those moments where it is a little painful there's a little, or it's a little off-putting, you're going to find at the end of the tunnel when you do drop that weight, when you do have those moments of success, that you're going to be so thankful that you put the effort into doing it. And this is not, like I said, an I win button. It is a lifestyle change for the better. So I encourage you, if you have the ability to the surgery, if you have the ability to take care of yourself, whether it be in the United States or via some other means, do it. Do it, do it, do it. I am so thankful. I am so, so thankful for Mexico Bariatric Center for being able to not only get me in when they did, um, but, you know, for taking such good care of me. And, you know, I, I will just say that they have done a, a tremendous job following up with me. Um, their nutritionist has followed up with me several times after the fact, even though I'm not paying them anything anymore or anything like that, um, just to make sure we're doing good. And uh, they have an online support group on Facebook that you, that you can be part of as well. So you can talk to people and, and share your experiences and your progress and things of that nature. So lots and lots of good things come with this. Um, so I encourage you, regardless of what your situation is, if you think that this might be a situation where a weight loss surgery might be a solution for you, research it and do it. Don't just dive in head first. Do, you, do your research do what needs to be done to make you feel safe and make sure that your family around you feels safe and you understand the risks. 
Go and speak with your doctor. See if that's a right path for you. I am not a medical advisor, so I'm just telling you about my experience and what's been going on with me. If you want to catch my progress, my progress, go take a look at my journey series back on uh, back on the on the YouTube's. Um, and uh, I, I, you can kind of see as you go through it, um, the progression over this past year, what is what has really taken place, um, opportunities that have come to me. I mean, I've I have a dating life again, I do, um, which boggles my mind. I'm still I still look at myself in the mirror as like that big huge dude that you know, I can get I can get what I get. You know, like whatever. I don't have to be picky. Well, now you know I'm not saying I'm a I'm an a-hole or anything like that, but you know, now I can be like, hey, you know, I can, I don't have to tolerate with this kind of attitude from somebody. I can, I can move on. I can do, I, I'll have other opportunities. And that was not a, a mental state that I could even foresee myself being in. So I don't want to get into dating right now, but what I will say is that for those of you who are thinking about making that life change, I encourage you to research it. I encourage you to do it. Um, and if you are looking at, possibly doing this through Mexico Bariatric Center or some other type of things like that. I do have a partnership with them that could possibly save you some money. Um, go, uh, the link should be right above me and uh, down below in the in the description. Um, it's MexicoBariatricCenter.com slash that BS guy. Um, I do not get any reward, any kickback whatsoever for that. Um, but at the bare minimum, they'll have a advisor reach out to you so that you can so that you can possibly find out if that is the right course of action that you want to take. Um, once again, 160-ish pounds. I cannot, I cannot be more thankful. Um, my last year has been a whirlwind. I cannot wait to see what this year has in store. Um, assuming things clear up in other areas of the world. <laughs> but for right now, as far as my health is concerned, and as far as how I'm feeling, I couldn't feel more blessed. I couldn't feel more thankful. And it all started with research and it all started with me taking that first step so if you're sitting out there if you're thinking sitting at home right now wondering if this is a if this path is the right one for you i highly encourage you to really take that next step and to move forward with it thank you for stopping by if you haven't uh checked out the channel or liked uh, and subscribed to the channel please do so uh, and i will see you in the next video have a great one Bye bye